In this example, we're asked to find the cost of fencing. It says that a family with a swimming pool puts up a chain link fence around the pool. The fence forms a rectangle that is 28 yards wide by 30 yards long. If the fence costs $450 per foot, how much will it cost to fence all four sides of the pool? So first, we'll just draw a sketch of the pool area. All right, so this is our pool area. And we have the length, which is 28 yards. And we have the width, which is 30 yards. So the first thing we're going to do is find the perimeter. So if you recall, the perimeter for a rectangle is twice the length plus twice the width. And here we're going to substitute the length for, for 28, and we'll substitute the width for 30. So the perimeter is 2 times 28 plus 2 times 30. 2 times 28 is 56. 2 times 30 is 60. So we have the perimeter as 116. And I'm simply going to reattach my unit of yards. Now, if we remember from the problem, the cost of the fencing is $4.50 per foot. And notice that we have yards. So our second step is to convert yards to feet. So we're going to use something called a unit fraction. So I have 116 yards, right? And I want to convert to feet. So now in a unit fraction is a special form of one, right? And our conversion is from yard to feet. So I'm going to put yard in the denominator. So I'm always going to put the unit I want to cancel in the denominator. And I'm always going to put the unit I want to convert to in the numerator. So if we take a look at our conversion chart, we know that three feet is equal to one yard. And now if we multiply, we can cross cancel. Our yards are going to cancel. We have 116 times 3. Which is 300. which is 348 feet. All right, so now we have the proper feet. So lastly, we want to find the cost of the fencing. So we want to multiply three hundred and forty eight times four dollars and fifty cent and we have a total of one thousand five hundred and sixty six dollars 